Special Budget Meeting to engage in SIPs 2023. Ms. Shane, can you pledge allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Madam Chair. Excuse me. Madam Chair, can I can I make a motion that we actually begin the public comment? And second the motion. Discussion. You want the quality outside of order? Yeah, you, you can. It's a special meeting. It's a special meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, as part of a special meeting, you cannot adjust your budget your agenda. Because it is, it is a specifically published agenda. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to approve and submit to the town council the Board of Education budget in the amount of $35,858,655. I'll second the motion. Discussion? We just get some clarification as to how that aligns with the requested two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It is the two hundred fifty thousand that they asked for. Okay. Thank so you. we put that back in. Sure. Any other questions for the discussion? Uh, I do um, have a little something to read. So uh, in the past few weeks, um, we have been, I believe, need needlessly. Sorry. The past few weeks have been needlessly and needlessly painful. They have been rife with vitriol, threats, and false statements. Most of this could have been avoided if the citizens and the Board of Finance had all the information before the referendum. If the voters and the uh, Board of Finance had known there was $500,000 savings in medical insurance available to educators, would everything have developed differently? The community, in my opinion, was needlessly whipped into a frenzy, causing a lot of damage along the way. What a shame. The only good result of the past few weeks is the compromise between the superintendent and the Board of Finance of returning the $250,000 to the education budget. We will be saving the taxpayers $542,000. It needn't have been so painful and caused so much damage in the community. We need to do better for the good of the community. David? Aye. Aye. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to approve and submit to the town budget in the amount of $18,129,000. $126 to the town council and a recommendation to appropriate $280,000 from ARPA funds to the Ambulance Association for their operational costs. So what does that mean in terms of lieutenant's position, police? Actually, we have the lieutenant was in the original that you sent to the yeah. council. We have also, we have added back the police officer in that budget. Okay. That's what was added back. And then the ARPA funds, what was that total again? $280,000 from ARPA funds to the Ambulance Association for their operational costs. I think it was proper for the Board of Finance to hold off funding for the ambulance until there was a plan in place. Now that there have been discussions and a plan is in place, we should go ahead with the uh, the funding necessary for the for the ambulance association. You have that in front of you. Yes, we have it in front of you. Yes, we do. Thank you very much. Okay. That's what I said. Then as long as there is a plan in place. We should go ahead with the funding. I'm in agreement. In Thank you. Enough. Plan is in place. Again, let's reiterate the motion. We have made the recommendation to appropriate $280,000 from the ARPA funds 
to the Ambulance Association for operational costs. Just to clarify to make sure that you can realize that there is money. How does that 280? Uh, but, but I'm looking at this 175 number. You're saying 280. Or is, is there two buckets of money that we're talking about? Is this additional beyond what it is? This is there is no actual money in the budget this year. Okay. It is 280,000 from the art money. What what we had, I'm not sure what the number is that's left, but the decision was rather increasing the budget and which increases the mill rate. We have the ARPA money and we can use it for that. So that's why we stayed in operation with us. So it's actually a significantly larger dollar amount. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Mr. Yeah. Cox, just a quick question if you don't mind. How much ARPA dollars would be left at this for the going forward kind of so round numbers, we have about 600,000 right now, uh, assuming that the council goes ahead with what uh, this body and the council's approved capital plan calls for to cover the capital plan. We would have about 600,000 left minus this, uh, that's 320,000 after this $280,000 contribution. Thank you. Anyone else? As far as I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. As far as the police position, um, in December we had a tri board meeting for the finance, town council, board of education, and at that meeting, it was directed that there would be no new positions added in the issue of the budget. I don't think it's proper for us to add tell one department it's okay to add a position and tell another department. That you can't add any more positions this year, that that's our, our proposal. So I don't agree with adding the position, the police position in. I'm in full agreement with um, funding the lieutenant position. I think advancing that has its advantages, and um, I would fully support that. But again, I don't think it's proper for us to tell the Board of Education that they can't add any more positions and have the police department add positions in this year's budget. Thank you. Can I make a comment? Um, we, have a, we have a great chief of police and I want to keep him. And he's been, he's been after these uh, officers for four or five years. I think he deserves it. I think he deserves both of those positions and it's public safety. Ambulance, fire, police. I'm, I'm fully behind both of those officers and hopefully pass them. So let's find out. Agree fully with what Teddy said. I think that's aligned with some of the things that we said the first time around. I'm just going to appreciate the other members of the Board of Finance reevaluating this after the, the referendum. It's unfortunate we don't get to hear from the public tonight. I think we are the Board of Finance will be likely approving a budget that will meet many of the needs of some of the comments from that have been come out of the past two meetings. It is unfortunate we do not have that information to give to the town council in their deliberations. Hopefully there'll be opportunity for folks to give comment at the town council meetings because um, they do get to have their say on the budget. And we do know that in the past, the lieutenant position was not kept in, um, though it did pass visibly this time. And there's been you know, obviously some redirections there. So it's unfortunate we don't have that opportunity, but um, I do appreciate the, the um the reevaluation that the Board of Finance has done given the public's uh, vote on the previous budget. But the lieutenant position was in the budget that yes. that kind of um, do you have anything else? Okay, I do. Um I'm in favor of the uh, ambulance uh funds, the ARPA funds being used for the ambulance. I'm in favor of that. Um I'm not in favor of an additional police officer. I don't think it's the fiscally responsible thing to do, and it's 
I don't believe it's needed. Um, so unfortunately, uh, though I think the town budget otherwise is a good budget, I won't have to be voting against it. Anything else? Okay, we have a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? No opposed? All right. I'd like uh, Sarah Moore to come here. So, so we're 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 second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye